Joshua Jackson is flying a drone to help monitor this herd of cattle from high above his central Kentucky ranch. A lot of potential uh, for using drones on the farm and it and it's, uh, covers a lot more ground than we ever could. Science, technology, engineering and mathematics, also known as STEM, is benefiting cattle farmers. They're using technology like drones. We can actually use this for monitoring animals. The health wise, we can look for pink eye, we can look for volume uh, in, in the field. Jackson is both a cattle producer and agriculture professor at the University of Kentucky. He's doing an experiment to see if drones can cause adverse effects or stresses on cattle. So what we do is from a physiological standpoint, we're looking at the heart rate. Is there a change in heart rate? Do they see the drone? Are they frightened? Do they have an elevator heart rate? And behavior, we actually put GPS on the cows. We measure how much do they run or do they run from a drone. Here's what he found. So they actually become very acclimated, even from the first week on, uh, to having a, the presence of a drone. Jackson is even exploring the benefits of using more than one drone. So using their volume estimation, using multiple drones, multiple pictures, and angles, stitch that together, create a 3D model, and use that to estimate the weight in the field that I've run them across the scale. Bottom line, the T in STEM technology continues to help farmers improve productivity. In Lexington, I'm Jason Lindsay.